elements, chemical elements that living systems are made out of? Hydrogen, carbon, 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 carbon nitrogen, nitrogen, nitrogen yes. oxygen, carbon, oh, okay. hydrogen, those are the big four. And we'll talk about why that is. It turns out they have some shared features that make them particularly useful. And uh, this is a common feature. We already talked about that. Everybody on the planet needs macromolecules. And they're all polymers uh, made of repeat units of, of smaller things like simple sugars or amino acids and so on. So there's a, just so much that we have in common with everything. All other living systems that we know about. Macromolecules um, are not just big, but they have characteristic shapes. Everybody knows about the double helical shape of DNA. Um, proteins have a much richer variety of shapes. Some proteins are linear, some are globular. There's all kinds of different shapes. Uh, that, that's because they do so many different jobs. Muscle proteins need to be long fibers that can slide past each other. Enzymes need to have binding pockets where they can go around and chew on small metabolites. Some defensive proteins like antibodies need to, to be able to recognize foreign invaders in the bloodstream. Um, so proteins in particular have this immense variety of shapes that correspond to the variety of tasks that are meant to do. But these shapes or conformations are critically linked to the function of all of them. So we'll, we'll spend some time talking about that. These conformations uh, just to lead into this topic, go beyond the polymer in nature. So you could think of a protein as being a, a polymer of a bunch of units that are arranged as they're built in a linear fashion. But then these fold up into like a long piece of floppy spaghetti if can be folded up into a particular conformation. These links between the, in the, if this is a protein, these would be amino acids. These are linked covalently by peptide bonds. These are true, strong covalent bonds holding it together. But these unique shapes that are so important to each one of the proteins are held by what we call weak interactions. Non-covalent bonds like hydrogen bonds or hydrophobic interactions. So if holding this important critical shape that is so important for the function of the protein relies on both covalent bonds and a lot of uh, weak bonds, maybe ionic bonds or inherent hydrogen bonds. All kinds of, of relatively weak forces are at play. 